Hello everyone! In this brief video I will teach you how to perform function interpolation in MATLAB. Here is the problem formulation. Let us assume that we know the function values at the points that are denoted by the blue circles. Now, our goal is to compute or to approximate the function values at these points, at the points in between the blue circles. We can say that function interpolation is the process of approximating the unknown function values on the basis of the knowledge of the function values at certain predefined points. In our case, the goal is to approximate the function value between two known values that are represented by the blue circles. For example, we want to see what is the value of the function, for example, at this point over here. If we know the value of the function at this point and at the value function of this point. I have created a post that nicely summarizes everything that I will explain in this video. So if you don't have enough time to watch this video, you can always read this post. A link to this post is given in the description below. So in the sequel we explain the MATLAB code for performing function interpolation. Usually when I work in MATLAB, I open a new script and I write my code in this new script and then when I want to execute this code I simply select the area and I click on evaluate selection. Okay, so knowing this let us first clear our workspace and let us first clear our screen. Here's our command window. It's empty currently. The next step is to define the function parameters. We're going to define two grids of points. The first grid will be a coarse grid at which the function will be defined and we assume that these values of the function are known. The next grid will be a denser grid at which we want to compute the function interpolation. Consequently we need two parameters. The first parameter is step coarse defining the coarse grid and the next parameter is step dense defining the denser grid. And Finally, we need to define the final time or the maximum value of the function. It will be equal to 10. In this video, time will correspond to the values on the x-axis. The next step is to define the time vectors. We have a coarse time vector corresponding to the coarse grid. It starts from 0 with the step of step coarse and it ends at the final time. Similarly, we have a denser grid starting in zero with the time step of step dense and final time. So let us execute this piece of code. Great. The next step is to define our function. So our function will have this the following form. This form corresponds to basically the function that's t squared minus some constant time t to the power 3. And the function is defined over here. We take the time course vector, we do dot and then take the second power minus 0 0.1, that's the value of the constant, time time course dot to the power of 3. This dot means that we apply the power of 3 to every entry of the time course vector. So here it is. Let us execute this line of code and we can also plot our function by just writing plot course function. Here is our function. Okay, now that we have our function, we can perform the interpolation. So we're going to call the function interp1. It's a MATLAB function. So you can do help interp1 and you will obtain the help. This help will guide you how to use this function. Briefly speaking, this function has one, two, three arguments. The first argument is the, or actually the first and the second argument are the function values, x and y values, 
for the function that we want to approximate. So these are the known function, function values and the last parameter corresponds to time dense, that is it's the vector of time values at which we want to compute our interpolation. So let us execute this function and as the result we are going to obtain the function values at time dense entries. And let us plot our result. So here is our result. The blue circles correspond to known function values and the smaller one, the smaller orange circles correspond to interpolated function values. As you can see here, this is a linear interpolation, means that we are approximating the function values by a linear function. However, you can do any type of basically approximation and you can basically see what type, what are the possibilities by simply typing help interp1 and you can see that you have many options over here basically you can do linear nearest neighbor next previous spline etc you can do cubic so if you want to do the cubic interpolation we will uh, call this function we will actually put an argument uh, an extra argument to our function it's going to be pc hip and uh, if you do that we will obtain the cubical interpolation. In this particular case you cannot see a big difference between the linear and uh, cubic interpolation because the function itself is of uh, relatively low order and the grid is relatively dense. Okay that would be all for today I hope that you like this video if you like this video please support this channel or subscribe. Thank you very much and have a nice day.